because there's going to be a bit of a new direction with this channel. So if you recognise this, you know, if you recognise me, if you recognise this, uh, this channel, this channel name, then yeah, you may be surprised to hear that I'm going to be basically going, getting away from all of the flashy uh, colours, texts, stock footage, all the crazy, you know, distracting things that you may have seen on this channel. And there's a few reasons for this. I'm, I'm noticing more and more channels. By the way, do you like the scenery? It's in uh, Montenegro. So I'm noticing more and more on channels, especially about lucid dreaming, that there's this trend, not just with lucid dreaming, but with many different topics, right? Where there's this trend towards like really distracting text and visuals and emojis and all these like pop-up stuff. And you probably know this as well, right? But it's very bad for your attention span and for your brain to be constantly bombarding yourself with all these different things, these different like distracting things and f flashy sound effects and all this stuff, when really what, you know, what truly matters is the actual content the value. And I feel that my channel over the last few years has gone towards that kind of trendy, clickbaity direction. And now, not, not that there's anything particularly wrong with clickbaiting, if you know, if you actually deliver on it. But I really want this channel and my other ones to be more transparent. You know, I want it to be just a connection between me and you, me helping you and teaching you something, or just even talking about my experiences with whatever the, the topic is, lucid dreaming or, you know, consciousness or whatever it is that I am talking about. So for that reason, I would encourage you to kind of go on this journey with me. And if you notice channels, if you notice channels, specifically lucid dreaming channels, or, you know, let's say if you come across one of my old bits of content and there's loads of flashy editing, just click onto my channel and watch my newer content, my most recent videos, like this one. And from now on, I mean, I, I think I have a, handful, a small handful of videos that have already been edited that are kind of scheduled. But apart from that, you know, from this moment on, this channel will be much more direct. It will be much more just me doing what I used to do on this channel, which is directly answering your questions and helping you, you know, learn whatever it is, lucid dreaming or sleep tips. Uh, energy boosting, that kind of stuff, uh, but mainly lucid dreaming. So I want to now get back to how this channel started, which was just me directly answering questions and making video response, answering your questions. If you see any flashy stuff, if you see any distracting, you know, you watch the video and it's like exploding noises and the flashy stock footage and all this distracting costumes and weird ideas, just remember that it's damaging your ability to focus and concentrate. So it might be engaging, it might be fun in the moment, but the more of that content you watch, the less likely you are to lucid dream. So I would encourage you to just leave those channels, ignore those types of videos, and watch more of the content where it's just somebody talking. It's just you're just having a conversation with somebody. Not only will you learn more and have more of a genuine experience, but your brain, your ability to focus and concentrate, will actually improve instead of decline. So I hope you understand this, and there's been a, a big shift towards this, you know, uh, in the last few months especially. And I've seen it in the comments and the, and the messages as well, you know, people are getting tired of flashy, distracting, high dopamine, high octane, just kind of like bombarding your brain and your subconscious mind with all of these crazy things to focus on. And it really takes away from the actual content, the actual visual and value-based content where someone is just teaching and, and talking to you and I want to get back to that because when I look at the videos that really did the best on this channel the ones that really helped the most people it was the videos where I was just talking to you like this it was not the ones where I spent ages editing or you know there was this flashy thumbnails and graphically designed stuff trying to distract and you know capture attention hopefully the sound is not too bad people doing roadworks yeah so those were the videos that did the best meaning according to the analytics those are the videos people most want to see so although there is a trend like if you watch any tutorial or any guidance about how to grow a youtube channel pretty much one of the main things they all say is you need to be doing really graphic visual thumbnails you need to be constantly changing up the angles, the camera, the editing, the transitions, sound effects, you know, people's attention span is just declining. And that's the advice across the board. But then when I think about all of the channels I personally watch, that I genuinely actually watch, it's not the flashy edited stuff. It's the more genuine one-to-one -one connections like this, where you can actually hear what they have to say and you're not being distracted by a million different things. 
And also, I think there's merit in actually doing something that might require more effort. Like, for example, watching this video, if you're still watching at this point, your attention span is better than a large chunk of people. There's going to be a chunk of people who can't focus on things for this long, even just a few minutes. And I don't want to contribute to that. I don't want to make content that helps people's attention span decline and get worse. I want to make content that is value-based, that I enjoy making, that actually helps you. And, you know, if that means I lose a few of my audience who are, like, more heavily programmed by things like TikTok or, you know, these high dopamine release platforms, then so be it. But I think, in the long term, this will actually help rather than hinder this channel and also my audience. So I hope this kind of makes sense. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. And by the way, from now on, I will be like really making a lot more videos, responding with a video to the most upvoted questions and problems and comments you have. Because, you know, that's what this channel was supposed to be for. It was not supposed to be like, how can I get the most views by doing the most graphically designed thumbnails? But the algorithm and, you know, the way YouTube works has kind of, it kind of pushes creators to do that. And I don't think that's a good thing. So I want to try and bring things back to more direct content where it's just me and you, we're just talking, having a casual conversation, and I'm just helping you do things, helping you lucid dream, you know, answering your questions and that kind of thing. So that's going to be the strategy. And I think what I will also do is on social media platforms where it's intended to be very quick short little clips like YouTube shorts, reels, TikTok, other ones like that. I will basically just chop up these videos and if there's a little sound bite that I think might bring somebody in to lucid dreaming and help them you know find our community here then I'll post that but I'll try and keep the editing to a minimum and I'll try and focus on just making it value based you know something that's actually interesting. I did actually do a poll on this channel's community you may have seen it where I asked you guys what you wanted to see whether you want, you know, more one-to-one -one content like this, or if you actually prefer the flashy editing. And most of you, I would say over, uh, I think about 20% said you, you want a bit of both. And then 60, something like 60% said you want just the one-to-one -one content like this. We'll just wait for that motorbike to uh, quieten down. While we're waiting, we can look at the view. And then I think there was something like 5% said they actually wanted the editing, the flashy edits and the distracting stuff. So, I think the most the, the most sensible thing really is just listen to what you guys are actually saying. And it's a win-win, you know, because it means it's easier for me to make these videos. I can post more of them. I can get to more of your questions. And it seems like that's the content you prefer anyway. So this is the first of many that are gonna be more just directly like this, you know, answering questions. If I'm, you know, barking up the wrong tree with this, if I, have missed something and you actually do prefer the flashy edits and the distracting stock footage and the, you know, the yellow text and all this stuff, let me know. But I have a hunch and also a data-based, you know, analysis of this that you do prefer the more value-based one-on-one stuff when you're able to focus on it. And I think you can even see, start to see these videos that I post as a bit of an exercise. Just remember that when, if you watch a whole video like this, and you just take the time to just get away from the dopamine release, get away from the, you know, crazy TikTok algorithms and distracting content. If you, take to, if you take the time to actually watch a video like this, just know that you're improving your ability to focus. Think of it like, if nothing else, think of it as an exercise, okay? If you can watch a 10 minute video without being distracted and closing, you know, browsing other tabs and you're probably even scrolling down to read the comments as you watch this. You probably did that in the first 20 seconds, and that's fine, I do the same. But we have to remember to retrain our brains to be able to focus on things. It's a very important skill, and if you want to learn, if you want to lose a dream, that's one of the most important things, is the ability to channel your focus into one point, one point of attention. So think of it like training, and remember that every time you watch a video where there's high amounts of editing, like a Mr. Beast style video, or TikTok, you know, the average video you see on TikTok, flashing explosions, coloured text and dis distracting transitions and all this stuff. You're not actually doing yourself any favours. In fact, you are, you're worsening your brain's ability to focus, which will have a knock-on effect on every area of your life. 
but I believe in you, you know, I think if, if you're watching this still, if you're continuing to watch this at this point, I mean, it's been about, what's, how long has it been now? It's been almost 11 minutes, then you are massively on the right track. But even if, well, they wouldn't know because if they wouldn't be watching at this point, but even if somebody only watched for one or two minutes, that is still better than the average attention, attention, than the average attention span on something like TikTok, which is li literally less than three seconds. So keep it up. Leave a comment letting me know what you think. And hopefully this will be the start of more personal, you know, community building videos like this.